Oh, I don't think the thing was on at all. I'll start over. Susan Slonnick Visual Rhythms. And there you have it. This is an abstract. This is a painting. It's huge. Uh, it has a story behind it about black people coming to New Pulse with a history from my life. And I sold it. It was priced at $700, but a friend bought it, so I reduced the price to $500. This is a painting called Mohonk on Stage. The curtain opens, on the table is fruit, and the scene outside is Mohonk. This is Mohonk in autumn. This is Mohonk in winter. I mean, sorry, this is Mohonk in summer. There's this little boy, he's got a story, and he's picked those flowers and he's gonna go through the woods and give them to this little girl. I sold this painting to a total stranger for the full price. This is Mohonk in spring. This is Jane and Tara, two girls that were in my dance company. The girl on the right's brother died of a heroin overdose. The girl on the left is her best friend. They both came to class to dance, and the one girl was comforting the other, and I snapped a photograph and did this picture from that. And it actually is a great likeness of both of them. These are dancers, which was a big subject of mine before I retired. These are other dancers, which was a big subject of mine before I retired. This is a huge painting. Um, people think it has a lot of meaning, like it's despair and hope or something, but actually I don't even think of stuff like that. The reason that I did the faces, two women looking up, two women looking down, was I got tired of doing faces straight on. And uh, they're like part of a bouquet, these women. Just their heads. You know they have bodies, but the bodies are behind the big bouquet. This is an old painting I did of Sam when he was young. And it says here, portrait of Sam as a young man, absolutely not for sale. This is another dancer painting. This is another dancer painting. This is from the boys' prison. This is the way the boys dressed in the prison. This is exactly how they looked. They weren't supposed to wear red because red is a gang color of the bloods. And they're not supposed to wear gang colors. But however, I asked how come they're allowed to wear red and was told it's so that we can spot a runaway. That's our world. This is another huge painting. And this one people read a lot of hidden meaning into too. Like the man is silenced by the closeness of the two women best friends. Bullshit. This painting is called Seven Fingers because three months after I painted it, a friend that I sent the picture to said, do you know that you painted the thumb the finger that's up, and one, two, three, and five more fingers. So this painting is called Seven Fingers. This is a gorgeous abstract called Four Crosses. This seems to be the abstract painting that people like the best. And I like it too. It's got great detail. It's the most recent painting I've done, and I bought some new paints and have some new beautiful colors in it and the details in it are wonderful. Pretty much anywhere you could go with this painting, if you cropped it anywhere. Oh, I see a face and a hat and a woman wearing a hat and that. It would look good almost anywhere. Well, I'm not sure about here. It's a little dull there, but the rest of it. This is kind of a conservative painting, a still life, sort of conservative. I was working on a particular color scheme that I was looking at for this painting. This painting, oops, is an abstract. It's pretty big. Not very big, but pretty big. And it's a painting, I painted over the painting underneath it. And it was the first time I really used metallic paint, so it's very shiny. And I love this painting very much. And I painted the, over the, the old frame, the paint spills out 
onto the old frame and then I thought I'd get a new frame on it, but then we decided that it was interesting looking with the painting spilling out. I can't see it in the big picture, but in real life you see the paint comes off the page. This painting people like a lot too. It's called Obscured Duck. You have to find, there was a duck in it. I didn't mean to put a duck in it, but every single time I tried to change the duck, the duck was still there. So I, it's called Obscure Duck. And it's basically the same exact color scheme as that painting. Same color scheme exactly. This painting is my least favorite of the abstracts. It's a little bit too subtle for my tastes. But um, I was kind of, it's, called, it's got a funny title. It's called Cascading Pink Balls. Okay. This painting I like a lot. I love the colors in it. I love the details in it. I love the ideas. These four shapes up in the top. It's almost like four shapes floating on an ocean. Hmm. I like it a lot. This one I like not as much, um, but it's okay. This painting is called Too Much Pink. I don't think that needs too much of an explanation. This is an old painting. I'm trying to get rid of it really cheap. Nobody's interested. This is part of my series of dancers that I did for years and years and years. And this is African dance, the painting about African dance. And thus ends the gallery tour. And this is a shot of how the whole thing looks. You walk in and there's all this beautiful place with all this wood and it's very, very nice. Of course, it's bleeding, the light is making it harder to see, but it's really, lovely space. Very, very nice. Okay, so you came to the show after all. <laughs>